Hi, Hi welcome, welcome to, to the Cold Lab. Lab. Today we're going to take you around the lab and show you some of the experiments that we're doing. So Addy, what are you up to today? So I'm loading some samples into uh, the Kai Cube. This allows us to run a lot of samples at once, which allows us to save time and money. So here we have our other PhD student, Steven. What are you up to today? So today I'm doing some sequencing. This is a sequencing machine and we load our samples into here. And then once the sequencing is run, we can actually read the letters of the DNA code and look for different mutations. Hi Summer, what are you working on? Hi, I'm just cutting up some tissues that have been treated with CRISPR-Cas9 and we're going to be looking at the morphology of these muscles to see if they were treated well. Interesting. Now we're going to take a look into the tissue culture room. So this is a pretty cool room. Uh, it's where we grow our cells from both patients as well as animals and where we do all of the proof of concepts experiments to see whether or not our CRISPR strategies work before we test them in our animal models. So let's go see what Eleanor is up to. All right, now we're gonna enter the tissue culture room. So we have these incubators here that grow our cells. And then when we passage our cells, which essentially means split them and do various sort of experiments on them, they have to be inside the special hood that has airflow and LA here is changing the media on the cells. What kind of cells are these, LA? These one are patient cells. So we have cells from a patient that has DMD and we are now changing media to keep them growing and use them for our CRISPR-Cas9 experiments. Perfect. So it doesn't look like much from here because the cells are very, very tiny. The only way that we can see them is through a microscope. But we have to regularly feed the cells in order to maintain their growth. Thanks, Ale. Okay, so we saw Samar uh, making slides earlier today. After the slides are made, we apply a special stain to them that lets us, lets us look at the dystrophin protein. So for example, here in a mouse that is wild type, so that means it's healthy, uh, we can see all of these little circles with dystrophin around them. So those are their muscle fibers. In a mouse that is affected with DMD, we don't see any of these little tiny circles. Now, with the mouse that has been edited, you can see now we're able to actually restore, using the CRISPR-Cas9 system, this full-length dystrophin. Of course, it's not to the same degree that we're seeing in our wild type, but a really good proportion of our tissue has restored dystrophin. So that's the heart. Now let's take a look at the diaphragm. So again, here we see the diaphragm, nice round circles with dystrophin around them. Here the diaphragm of the untreated does not have that. And let's look at the treated diaphragm. Look at those. All of those red circles are dystrophin, full length dystrophin, being expressed in muscle cells that previously looked like this. So I hope today you learned a little bit about our research here at the Cone Lab. And see you next time. Bye.